What's poppin' everyone, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic out there today. Now guys, I am very, very excited for today's video because this is one of my absolute favorite videos to make here on my channel, and that is looking at some of the best update ideas made by very talented creators inside of the Brawl Stars community. Guys, creators aren't just found on YouTube. There are so many talented people that really help out the Brawl Stars community. So definitely looking forward to taking a look at some of these, seeing that we've gotten a few bigger implementations in the most recent sets of updates so hope you guys are all excited let's get straight away into it here we go So everyone, typically, for some strange reason, we always start off with new gadget ideas in these types of videos. So you know what? We're not going to be switching up the format. Taking a look at a post from Stupid Boy. You're not stupid, man. <laughs> but it's a new gadget idea for Sandy. Sand in the eye. When activated, Sandy's next attack blinds any enemy hit. Affected enemies can only see enemies and allies within two tiles of them for three seconds. And what's even more, a day later, Cram1667 made an illustration of this gadget and it got a lot of praise by the community this along with the actual original idea and I think it's really cool a well thought out second gadget a super unique gadget that is fitting of a higher rarity here in the game but that Edgar can't see nothing in that showdown match very very fun but with that out of the way moving along to one of my favorite ideas of this video today by the goaded Chief Pekka an amazing idea creator here in the community but he thought up of a new game mode called Basket Brawl. Hey, it's been quite some time since we've had a new game mode here in Brawl Stars, and since Brawl Ball is so dang popular, why not add another sport game mode? So you actually have to shoot to make the basket. It's so interesting. So he goes on a little bit further with how the rules are going to go in the top left for a two-pointer. You have to stand inside the semicircle with using a basic attack and a super anything, really. Anything goes for the first ring. But then when it comes to three-pointers, you must use your super and stand beyond the semi-circle line. Taking a look at the bottom left here, after scoring the opponent team will respawn with the ball and you actually have to aim your shot in order to score the ball. So a little bit more technical than brawl ball, just kicking it in, right? Super cool. And then as for some additional rules here, the first team to score five points during the match will be your winner at the end. So hey, I gotta say, such an amazing idea. Guys, I wanna play this game mode. It sounds so much freaking fun. Are you kidding me? Guys, moving along to our next idea here and it's definitely a bit more self-explanatory but oh baby I think we can all get behind this we need the showdown modifiers in map maker how fun would that be to experiment in map maker designing maps centralized around these specific power-ups an energy drink modifier map a meteor shower modifier map everything would be so dang fun the angry robo modifier would be so much freaking fun to try to get as many power cubes as possible literally the fun is endless here so that'd be a really cool addition though you know map maker is still in beta so you never know something like this might be around the corner here's the hoping cross those fingers now i'm not 1000 percent certain if i brought this up in a previous concept video but i adore the idea it sounds so dang good especially ever since i created a free to play account knowing the true value of buying out the brawl pass and this being kind of a substitute for that so as you can see from the user infinity guy 88 called bonus pass coins whereas opposed to slowly accumulating big brawl boxes you get these coins where you have a bonus pass coin shop where you can purchase the big brawl box or you can use it for a few different things a mega brawl box a brawl pass upgrade maybe having a discount on the next season of the brawl pass or exclusive skins how it works as a strictly free to play player here in the game it takes two different brawl pass seasons to accumulate enough gems in order to activate one brawl pass season so if a really cool brawler comes around and you you don't have enough gems you're gonna have to open it up the traditional style opening up brawl boxes and just hoping that it comes along or as opposed to if you spend some of these brawl pass tokens or brawl pass coins you can get there you can activate a brawl pass maybe a little bit easier so moving along to our next one here made two days ago by once again chief pekka coming through with a banger idea that is definitely more for current events here in the game but as you can see a feature to reduce players with poor internet connection to enter power league so say for example
example, your connection isn't too hot, it'll give you a warning saying that you might not be able to play the entire match or round of Power League if you enter now. So if you want to take the risks, you can hit go. But if you want to wait for a more stable connection, maybe at a different part of your house or getting out of a bad spot, you can hit exit and go on ladder where it's not such a negative thing. You might get banned from battle or something like that. Such a simple fix for this current issue that we have, but I'm assuming we're also going to be getting some corrections to this in the very near future for maintenances on Power League, so make sure to keep that in mind. Moving along to another idea that is centralized around Power League made by the user Flying Line, who has most definitely appeared in these videos in the past, but it is a profile UI redesign for Power League and just your base stats. So if you click on your profile, you can see the Power League there on the way right, and then some additional awesome statistics. Guys, I'm telling you, I just want something like this on the very bottom left where you can see in the middle most played brawler colonel rubs i want to see what my most played brawler is so dang bad <laughs> but yeah i like the aesthetic it looks really really cool and nice and organized power league on the way right trophy league on the way left and your player info right smack dab in the middle all right so moving along to a post from ari hagria another very well-known person when it comes to their ideas here in the community but it's a concept all revolved around a pin pack shop so new pin pack shop and pin packs collaboration with timmy Timoe? <laughs> but guys, the reason I wanted to bring this one up is we have somewhat of a pressing issue right now when it comes to people who have been very dedicated to their pin pack purchases every single week. But some people in the game can no longer buy pin packs because if they buy them, they're only getting epic pins. They have all the commons, they have all the rares, so it just doesn't work for them. I came across the same exact problem when I was trying to get pins on my Dynaray account. I can no longer get them even though I'm missing some of the epics for both Dynamite as well as Shelly. It just doesn't allow you. So it'd be cool to correct this issue to maybe have a pin pack that has only one in it or maybe a pin pack where you can purchase a specific rarity of a pin or maybe just flat out buying a pin that comes out that you really really want like an epic pin that comes out in a special section of the shop. Either way we'll see what happens with all that. Guys I want more epic pins. I hope we can get something like that in the very near future. Okay guys so now that we have some bigger ticketed items out of the way. Next, I want to get into some really awesome skin ideas. Again, I'm not sure if I brought this up in a previous concept video, but I love love the idea. One of the coolest skins in the entire game is the Virus 8-bit skin. So the user Celeste Usks. <laughs> so less UK sus, that's what we're going to call it. He developed a few different concepts revolved around this idea. So as you can see, we have virus tick here. Guys, if he wasn't a virus enough already, I'm telling you that much. Just an opinion, just an opinion. But that's not it, everyone. We have another one here, corrupt spike, kind of fitting in that same exact category, looking amazing with both basic attack as well as super animation changes. And then I came across this one, L distorted primo so el primo turning into a robot fitting into that whole cursed family so freaking cool i would love to see more cursed skins or virus 8-bit virus skins it's so freaking cool and while we're on the topic of awesome skins a post here by electra brawl stars posting golden paladin surge first things first this skin is amazing it's phenomenal it's gorgeous i wish it was in the game but it also brought up another thing in the back of my mind it's been a long time since we've had like a high ticketed star point skin or maybe another like golden mecha something or a dark mecha or light mecha. I don't know if those were just meant to be reserved for crow and bow, but it would also be cool to see them on other brawlers. Imagine a dark paladin surge skin. That would be so freaking cool, but golden also looking amazing. But then everyone, as we normally do in these types of videos, ending off with a few different brawler concepts made here by Minimat. I love Minimat's brawler concepts. He's definitely come up in a lot of my past videos on concept ideas, but I wanted to do this one, Wanda, today. It was made a year ago, reminding me a lot of Leon, but a more practical Leon, if you ask me, the clone ability coming into play. So over here, Wanda is a magician who fires powerful magic from her magic wand. Her super creates a magic clone of Wanda that has the same stats and abilities as her. So instead of just summoning a clone that's a dummy, she summons a clone that fights 
with her. So double the damage, double the health. I think that is such a cool idea. I really enjoy the cloning ability, but I always have a hard time putting it to use with Leon. But with this, it won't be hard to put to use because it attacks with you. So cool. Next up, I thought this one was absolutely hilarious. It's called Tato. Tato is a little couch potato that fights in a robot chair with potato cannons for armrests. His attacks are so powerful, they knock him back a little. His super fires out an explosive potato that deals massive area damage at the expense of a far knockback. So nothing crazy advanced or in depth or anything like that, but I do enjoy the concept. It's a really unique brawler design as well as I like the idea of having another brawler that deals massive area of effect damage at a long range. Guys, I don't know what it is about this brawler that preached to me so much, but maybe it might have been something about a brawler that is just really straightforward. Someone who doesn't have crazy intricate mechanics or anything like that. Just another staple fun brawler. And guys, for our final one, it's a skin and I thought it was absolutely hilarious. A Spongebob collab with Brawl Stars. We have a skin for El Primo that is Patrick Star. You guys gotta love it. It's so freaking hilarious. I mean, come on. <laughs> but yeah, everyone, that's just about it for today's video. Like I said before, these are some of my absolute favorite videos to make here on my channel. It's so much fun to see the different talented people inside the community and seeing like people who really invest a lot of their time into the community trying to come up with amazing ideas that might assist the Brawl Stars dev team in developing their games or just providing a source of entertainment to people like over on Reddit or other places in the community. They do a lot and might not get a whole lot of recognition for what they do. So big props on them. Community would most definitely not be the same without them. But yeah, everyone, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it. I'd really, really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun with Brawl Stars and we'll see you in the next video. Adios, you guys. Whatcha?